What it do, Southside family? It's your boy, Young. That was TV. Back in that bit. I'm back in that bit. I'm back in that bit. Hey, you know, it's that time of the year. You know, the marching season. Everybody got the king cakes out. Everybody got the beads, parades. The, man, we got the pots going crazy. Hey, we're taking, we're taking a look into one of the most, uh, I want to say most iconic parades, the Bacchus parades. Um, Craig Munt High versus George Washington Carver High School. As a former band student, we used to hear about getting compared about um, Carver all the time. Never knew why. So definitely gonna check this out. You know, normally I do not cover band videos that much. I think I covered one band video like two years ago, but I'm gonna try to bring it back. If y'all want me to, just let me know. Um, from my pers uh, you know, I'll try to do it based upon my perspective of a former band student. And one of the things we go into with these battles is cleanliness, the arrangement, and the energy that they give they give off. Because the difference between playing to the crowd and playing to win. So we're gonna dive on into it. Uh, tell your aunties, tell your grandmas, tell your cousins, subscribe. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so I know for sure off rip the green band is not uh George Washington cover. Mm, sound a little muddy right there. Um, I definitely, I, I definitely saw other than the muddiness, the arrangement is definitely questionable. I don't remember ever seeing this type of an arrangement. Cause usually you would have like the your wood ones in the front, trumpets like a like a, a like behind them, and on the right and left hand side would be like the uh, baritones and French horns if you have a lot. Trombones in the middle. I do like the tuba placements though, because you can get that bass feel from both angles. Sounds like someone's playing the wrong notes. I can't pinpoint where. And damn, those baritones are beefy. <laughs> they got a lot of power. But like I said, I feel like there's a uh, someone's playing the wrong note. And this little lack of, uh, I'm hearing a lot of random notes in the background. I know there's other bands playing right now, but as a... Uh, Someone who does with music, I can kind of pinpoint, you know, generally and dis pretty much isolate different sounds, pretty much to sum that all up. So yeah, somebody in here is playing like some stray sounds. Oh. That caught me off guard. Okay. Okay, calm down. <laughs> I'm 
not going home with that little run right there. That's a little different. See, hitting that, hitting those little fast notes like that on them runs, depending on what instrument you play, that's hard, bro. I swear that takes like, like especially to hit each note to the fullest degree. Cause like you can hit those notes, but if you, it's a difference between hitting the notes and hitting the right notes. Cause sometimes you're supposed to do it for a four bar and you do it for a half a bar because you ran out of breath because you didn't have no breath control. Um, or you just, you know, need, ran out of breath, but that's actually really tough. Now, so we're gonna see what Carver, with Carver cooking up, let's see what we got going. <laughs> bro got the megaphone and everything, bro. Then he walking into the concert. <laughs> He's like, move up. He's like, move up. <laughs> All right, whoever that's playing on the left hand side, they is cooking. I'm glad they're not over here, but they cooking. <laughs> but yeah, you can tell he's like, he's like, I don't know why he's right there. If I why they would need them to back up though, because there's not enough space right here. And I already know the way she looking, they she aggravated. <laughs> look, look, he's telling them to push up. Hold on, they came out the gate blasting, my boy. Shit, they look. It's prime time, I guess. Shit, <laughs> this is at the end of the parades on. Uh, I think it's Magazine Street. Um, normally where all the bands. Uh, I believe it's where most of the bands start at. Yeah, where most of the bands start at usually. And I think you end, and then you end up like outside of that convention center, I believe. <laughs> they clean too. All right, that was crazy. All right, round one, definitely going to Carver, and only for one reason. So actually, two reasons. I like the arrangement and how clean that it sounds. But Craig might sound a lot more full and had a little bit more variation over there. There were some strays over there that picked me off and it sounded like somebody was somebody was playing the wrong note. That's why I couldn't give it to couldn't give it to them. But we gonna see. Round two, let's go. Somebody playing jump start in the background, of course. You gotta be gotta be like Landry Walker. They getting technical. I like this one. This is like really, really clean. I like it. Playing Jumpstart. <laughs>
Oh, he hit that. <laughs> I like this one. It's just certain notes just throw me off and I know it's probably the arrangement. So like that like one of those baritones playing for some reason I didn't like that for some reason. It just sounded sounded like it just was either off key a little bit. Just a little bit. But hmm, that was actually fire though. I'm about to get I'm about to give him that. What was that? <laughs> he said. He said, "What was that?" Oh, did it, bro. What they disrespectful? So, bro, they pushed the dancer to this. I told you, I told you he was gonna have. There was gonna be an issue with the dancing, cause look how like they could have backed up or told people to push up, push, uh, push up, cause it seemed like that side got more space than this side. But that's crazy. Got them pushed over to the side like that. A tuba break? Okay. Okay, they hitting that bit though, for real, for real. Like the French horns, like I like the French horns and I like the baritones for Carver, but I like the trumpets over there at Bar uh Craig's Craig's month. I ain't gonna talk about the drummers though, because the drummers, that's a whole different subject. Um, uh, but I gotta give it, and I don't know. I feel about the tuba tubas, but I'm feeling I'm feeling fifty fifty right now. I'm feeling the fifty bar. Yeah, I'm feeling a 50-50 on that one. Y'all y'all let me know in the comment section which one you think did run one round two, cause that I don't know. Water 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 was the answer to that one. Like I like the other one's arrangement. I didn't like how this one started off, but then it started cleaning up. Can't started um this this it started it was no muddiness, it was pretty clean. It sounded pretty good. Like I said, other than those couple of strays that I heard on Craig, 
They're about, you know, about it's a good battle. Honestly. Round three. That's disrespectful. So, another, another thing to bear with is say you play a song, played it really good, thinking that you did a really good job, and then here comes the other band y'all competing and playing the exact same song, acting like they're now basically speaking, so they're speaking using the instruments, like they're better, you feel me? Like, this is when that, that beefness starts to cook up, that competitiveness starts to cook up, because like... He ain't about to he, nah, he ain't about to play the same song I just played my heart out to. And you better not play the same arrangement. Cause then we about we start we about to start cooking that bit up, you feel me? Did you die in that run? Oh my god. Off the rip, I'm gonna go ahead and say their arrangement of it is better. It's way better. <laughs> like like Carver kept it simple, but they getting all technical on this side. Hold on, listen to that. Like listen to that. Like listen to that bit one more time. Like how the background is like, yeah, we did that. <laughs> He's like, yeah, we did that, my boy. <laughs> I like this bad drink. I ain't gonna lie to you, their arrangement was better. <laughs> I like the grit and I like the little the little swagginess from the band director actually being super involved with it. Um I like the arrangement. I like how some like how some parts of it sound. They definitely have a lot of beefy sound. I'll tell you that. They do have that power. But I wanna say uh Carver was a little bit cleaner though. That's what I want to say. But see we may have two different perspectives on what we're hearing. So I'd like to know what how y'all feel about it in the comment section. But I think Carver is cleaner, but the arrangements are a lot more simpler though. Oh, the dance is back. <laughs> I guess that feud is already over with. He just gonna walk in between and I Y'all need some space. Y'all need some space.
I want to know who's playing over there to the left, though. I don't like the fact that everybody want to play at the same time, bro. I'm over here listening to them over there. I don't even know what I'm listening to over there. But I'll tell you one thing. They do like the power in the tubas. And I say it's probably because they don't have that many tubas. But I definitely like Craigmont's tubas a lot more, though. They definitely like they heard, they must have heard all that technical stuff. They're like, you know what, we got something, we got something in the back too. Let's say they'll say that to the third round in a bit. But I'm gonna go ahead and say that I'm definitely feeling feeling like the sound. It's just the arrangements are a lot or like either too simple or it's or it like so it's like this. They're simple, clean, technical. They get a little they get a little strays on the muddy machine. Like in the in the middle part, like the it's balance. Round three, I'm gonna go ahead and give it to uh Kragma. I definitely like definitely like the there I would definitely like the original water a lot more than uh Carver's. Um especially the arrangement. The arrangement did a lot for me. Um but both bands did good on this part. Definitely do say so. Not them putting the not them put the pencil set aside now. That's crazy. Oh, someone's beefing over there. I know he hear that. Mama, and on my hood, put it on my family, put it on my. I ain't gonna hold. I ain't gonna hold you. The response to this is gonna be the. <laughs> you gotta go to hearts on this one, bro. This was the, probably the best song I heard by Crash Monster today. <laughs> wow, that is actually amazing, bro. That is actually amazing. 
I know she feel like a star at the. I was wondering where the dance scene went. That's out. She's getting the show. Come on, two of us. Almost down before you drop that bit. Never seen them. I ain't never been in a band where they was twirling, twirling the the uh, clarinets. Hold on, oh, hold on. I've never seen that one before. That's crazy. But uh, yeah, this is a definite. I gotta hear crack. I gotta hear Carver's uh, response to this, bro. Cause like, <laughs> it's like they got all the swag over there, bro. It's crazy, bro. And the song selections are definitely amazing. Um, but one thing I do have concerns about is that there need to be on there need to be some discipline on the ending of the notes because some notes are being dragged on. You hear certain certain people still playing playing over their arrangement. Um, but other than that, it's pretty it's pretty good and pretty clean. So this is one of those instances where Craig Moss playing to the crowd and Carver's playing for the battle. There's always two in the battle. And if you win over, and that's the thing, and that's where it becomes hard to judge who actually wins in these contests because it's off of your personal taste on it. Because other than all the other bands that's playing right now, because if you got the you got the crowd into it, oh, that's a W. But if you have the sound that's backing you up and you, you know, you're doing your thing, then it's like they can say they won, they can say they won. It's a, it's a, but they, I, I like the band director though. I got, I hope that, I hope that another one's playing right now because I, we definitely missed a chunk of that. Of course, they was playing. Carver's just disappearing. Just a sh sh what was up, man? <laughs>
I'm out. Oh, man. It's like Craigman has the arrangements, but Carver has the actual has the sound, though. Like the overall sound. I'm not saying both bands are uh, perfect, but like. Man, if both of this were combined, this would be a top tier band. <laughs> Be like the number one in high school, bro. This is crazy, bro. So yeah, the arrangements is definitely having an edge right now with the crowd. But I still say Carver is still beefing up. They're still still playing their part though. I'm gonna give that I'm gonna give that I'm gonna I'm gonna give that to uh I'm gonna give that to Craigsman. For a song selection. on the left right there hold on we need to go put pan the camera over there is that car definitely a lot more cleaner with the song um than the previous ones um the tuba definitely has me question a uh, question a little bit but so far correct man it's, it's like it's like the more they play the better they getting which is crazy in my opinion plays after this it depends on who wins this i think i mean unless we got time for two more but so far carver's leading by one and there's that 50 50 ball in round two depending on what y'all say you know if you lean towards uh carver on that second round and then it's a 50 50. but so far i'm gonna give it to craig's because craigman's because like i said their arrangements are pretty good and the song selections are pretty good
And all the time they want to take your place and backstab us. Backstab us. Following you. Oh, we're just going to skip over them? Okay. Like I said, the song selections, the, the song selections are killing it. And arrangement styles is definitely amazing. And I like the energy that they're giving off is why they have the edge for me personally. These are all opinionated on my, you know, on my, but like they, they did not come to play. <laughs> and they do sound better every time they play a song, bro. It's crazy. I gotta hear what, what cover please tell me you play something after this please tell me you play something after this bro there needs to be a response like what happened bro why is there a gap in between the carver leave i know we didn't just leave off on that carver where where did that go <laughs> don't tell me they just love Bro, that's crazy. I'm going to be honest with you, bro. That was a really good battle. I definitely wanted to see a response from Carver at the end of there. But I'm going to say, Craig, Craig, I'm going to be that one person. I know probably probably people saying Carver won, but like it's a 50-50 ball. And like I said, Carver won the sound, the sound and the cleanliness. But the arrangement and the song selections go to Craigman. So whoever you wanted to win is all up to you. 